Happy Tuesday, public speaking students. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to just check in and maybe give you guys a little bit of update on what's going on with the class. Um, number one, I know I had mentioned we would be doing speeches this week, but that's not the case. We're actually going to put those over to next week because this week I want you to concentrate on visual aids because in your speech, there's a good chunk of points that you have to have good visual aids for. So what constitutes visual aids? Well, it could be PowerPoint. It could be something if you're um, doing like graphing or photos or things like that. But the way you need to position it is so that I can see you and probably maybe a computer or a screen or something beside of you as you're talking and going through slides. For example, if you're doing PowerPoint slides. So if you'll go ahead and read chapters 21, 22, and 23, they are very specific on visual aids and how to correctly build those. So I definitely want you guys to take some time and really look at how you're constructing your presentations, your visual aids for that. Um, and make sure that they're all original. I don't want you to use uh, some PowerPoint or slideshow that you downloaded from the internet because that's not fair to everybody else. It should be all original work, your work. The second thing I wanted to address is the grading um, points that are in the grade book on Moodle. And just to let you know, if you look at the tally at the end, those grades are all over the place. I've got some people that have A's in the class and then they look at the points and they're like, oh, but it looks like I'm failing. Well, that's not the truth. Just get rid of, don't think about in your brain, just disconnect from that final tally. It does not include all your grades anyway, because on top of the grades that are actually in there, there are also grades that you have for your discussion boards. And I tally those up as part of your um, active participation grades. And those come into play at the end of the semester once you've gone through um, all the different discussion boards. And I'll tally those up. So those don't even show up in the grade book to begin with. Um, and of course, you have all your short answer. And the one way you can kind of look at it and judge is if you have a short answer and um, let's say it's worth 15 points or better yet, let's make the math easy, 10 points and you get an eight out of 10, you know an eight is the equivalent of an 80, so that's a B. If you get a nine, that's an A. Um, if you're doing a speech and on your speech you have a 100, then you know if that's your maximum number of points you can make, then you know you've got the highest A ever, right? So I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand kind of how the grading is flowing. I know I've got, I think maybe five or six more of the last speeches that I have to go through and put some feedback on. And you'll have those um, shortly, just because I want to make sure you have that before you get into your next uh, round of speeches next week. Anyway, if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to call me or text me or whatever you need. I am here for you. Um, and I guess that will wrap it up. If I don't talk to you um, beforehand, I hope you guys have a great Easter coming up. I know we've got a little bit of a holiday um, short time, so maybe you guys can get some R&R &R in there too. Anyway, I hope all is well, and I will speak with you soon. Bye-bye.